run to about the 10 for a gain of three. Looks like uh, Coach Smith has gone to more, a little more Wildcat athletic package um, with Stacy in there. Airedale is looking at second down and seven with uh, 11 minutes, 42 seconds left here in the first half of play. Alma down 14-0. Uh, some scores across the, the region. Magnolia is on top of Pea Ridge, 14-0. Green County Tech, seven. Clarksville, nothing. So lots of football Friday here in mid-November as playoff time is upon us. Lots of bracket busters yep. tonight. All right. McAllister is back under center here. There's going to be a little pass play up the middle, and that's going to be a run to about the five-yard line. And the Airedales are going to look at third down and short. Great job by Corsi not stringing it out right there, putting his foot in the ground and going vertical. He saw the lane open and saw those, you know, that's the thing about having a fast defense like Texas Camp. They're going to overrun. That's going to be a four-yard play for Jacob Corsi, and that's a, uh, a third down and short for the Airedales. McAllister under center. Here's a man in motion. That's Corsi, and somebody jumped off sides. That's got to be against Texarkana. I think it's our first yep. Texarkana penalty. It is. That's going to be a first and goal for the Airedales with 10 minutes and 50 seconds here in the first half, and we're going to put the power package in. Went a hard count right there to draw them off. They drew, they drew them off. We've got a first and goal now, and we've got our heavy package in uh, to try to try to punch it in the end zone. Bring in the big guys. Ball's at the three-yard line. McAllister is under center. Brady Noyes in the backfield. McAllister will hand it off. Here's a hand, running play to Brady Noyes. Knocked down about the two. Inside the one, at the one. So he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line. Yard short. The good thing Brady did was two hands on that football and kept their feet moving. Brady Noyes is a heck of a football player, young sophomore. And he's uh, had a nice, uh, a nice year. Here is a quarterback sneak. Hunter McAllister, is he in? He's in. Touchdown, Airedale. 6'7 quarterback goes over the plane right there. There's no denying that. No, that's a simple call and an easy one. <laughs> And a touchdown for Alma. Ten minutes, 17 seconds left in the first half. The Airedales about to cut this thing in half. It's Texarkana 14, Alma 6. And the PAT attempt is coming up here for Dane Martin. Yeah, you're six foot seven. There's nothing fancy to do there. <laughs> Go under and, and fall forward. I thought we might have a little trickery there like they had uh, Alma ran the two-point pass play against uh, – Farmington last week, but they're going to go ahead and kick this thing. The holder is going to be Connor Stacy, and Dane Martin will attempt to kick this. Here is the snap under center. It's a good one. Kick on the way, and it is going to go good. I thought he might have hooked it, but he got it in there. The Airedales cut it to seven. It's Texarkana 14, Alma 7. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Kevin Taylor and Coach Doug Lockridge are back here. How do you like being in the booth compared to down on the sideline? A little less stressful, <laughs> I'm telling you. A little less stressful. But, hey, is there a lot going on as an AD? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the middle of a COVID pandemic in 2020, to say a lot is an understatement. Oh, my gosh. It's just been – we shut schools down in the spring, and the governor said today it looks like we're going to keep them open. That's That was good news to hear. Yeah, he made that statement today, and I think he's going to as long as he can. Yeah. So we'll kind of see how this all plays out. I think schools are a good place. I think schools and hospitals are probably the cleanest places, in, you know, in, in, the, in the world right now <laughs> as far as all the cleaning going on. Here comes the kickoff. Going to be a squibber on sidekick. It's still free and loose out there, and I think the Razorbacks might have gotten it. You know, you're seeing a lot of tricks and, and plays. Looks like we're off size right here, Kevin. But you're seeing, the, you know, they're pulling out the stops this game. There's no reason to leave anything in oh, the no. playbook. Yep, the Airedales were off sides a little bit on the onside kick. And it's going to be first down and 10 for Texarkana. Or are they going to make them do it again? They're going to make them do it again. Looks like we're going to back it up. Looked like we didn't get much on that ball right there and didn't get the speed of it, and we overran it. I like that onside kick. Uh I'm, I'm hearing that Coach Potts likes onside kicks in seventh grade. I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Coach Potts is a riverboat gambler <laughs> yeah. in, the, in the River Valley Conference, I'll tell you. I'm looking forward to watching that in 2021. Let's, let's hope that uh, the pandemic is over by then. 
Martin's going to tee it up back at his 35. 10-17 left. It's 14-7. Texarkana with the lead. The ref had to pick up his flag. You know, they backed Dane up. Dane's got a big enough leg that, you know, the, the returners are standing on the 20. He can get a hold of this sucker and put it put a pretty good ways behind him. He is going to do a little sky kick, and it's going to be caught by Green at the 45. He's going to run, get loose, and go backward, and going to be tackled by Jacob Corsi at the 41. So, Ali pick up about five yards. You know, Jacob Corsi, defense. Jacob Corsi, offense. He's a, he's a big, big, you know, special teams. He, he's on every one of those, and he's a big, big contributor for his football team. You know, he's just that guy, and you see him, you walking in the hallway, and he comes over to my house a lot, and I see him hanging around with kids, and I'm, he, he, you're, you're, you're a football player? <laughs> a good football player. Not very big. It just kind of defies the – the lot, same thing with Trey Fusler. You know, Trey at 122 pounds, had three interceptions last week. You don't have to be six foot ten to play this game. No, Jacob just understands that he's been around it. He's a coach's kid. He's been around yep. all his life, and he just he just knows. Arkansas High back on offense, and they will have it from their 41. Here's a little misdirection running play, and almost tripped in the backfield. We got a flag on the play, and running for about maybe four. Possibly five yards on the play. Just a simple little hitch and go to Logan Williams. This one may be coming back, and it is. The way it looked, that play just kept stringing out. The, the, the back tried to bubble it, and when he did, we hit him, and he kind of kept going, and those linemen tried to stay hooked up and end up getting a holding call. Ten minutes left here in the first half, and Texer Cannon is going to have first and long as they lead the ball game 14-7. to seven. Kevin Taylor, Doug Lockridge from... Razorback Stadium, I look across the way, and they've got a press box over there, James Williams, legendary press box named in his honor. And uh, we are on the Alma side looking, I guess, due north from where our position is here. So Texarkana from the 30, it's going to be first and 21. See if your defense can uh, dial up another big play here. This time the uh, quarterback is going to be under center. Blair in the backfield. This is going to be a pitch, a little simple pitch outside, and let's see what Torrey Blair can do. He turns the corner for about five yards, and that brings up a second down and long for the Razorbacks. Really proud of Coach Preston. He's Airedales. You, I mean, the speed that is on the, the Texarkana side of the ball is unbelievable, and we're not letting them get to the corner and, and get to the edge. That's a gain of six yards. He's had a nice ball game, uh, Blair has, but uh, – not enough for a first down, second down, still manageable. Second down and about 14. They're going to call it 17. That can't be right. Second down and about 14 from the 36. Never trust a scoreboard, by the way, <laughs> when you're on the road. Second down and 14 for Texarkana, and the quarterback this time is going to go in the shotgun. That's uh, Lammers. He's got some receivers split outside. The rush is on. He's running for his life, and he gets away. Still running, going to throw it out of bounds. That's got to be intentional grounding, but we have no flag. And the officials looking at it, that's just going to be an incomplete pass. All that red over there, I don't yep. guess they could tell who was where. I did notice that Coach Presley took out Devin Poole and put in big 6'4", Braden Allen right there to put a, a bigger body. So you had you had Waylon on one side, 6'6", six, six. you had uh, Allen over on this side, and you know really there was not a lot of window space with those two out there. Devin Poole is, a, is another kid who's had a nice year, a junior, kind of gone under the radar, has had a very good season. Third down and long, third and... About 14 for Texarkana. They're at their 36. Nine minutes and nine seconds left here in the first half. Here come the Airedales again on the blitz. Quarterback gets it away. Got a man down there. Incomplete. Knocked away and then nearly caught on the on the rebound. Wow. I was looking for the flag, Kevin. Uh, I was looking for the flag. Same play as we made a while ago yeah. on third and long. So Alma gets them off the field. Three and out for the defense. That's a win. And with uh, nine minutes left, by the way, the clock never ran on that play. That, that's why the first quarter, Stan Flinter's not here. We're still at 9.01. 9.01. That's why, that's why this, the first quarter took so long. We're on Texarkana <laughs> standard time. It, it must be. I don't know who to yell at over there. Yeah, fourth and long, and they're going to punt it back around their 20-yard line. Let's see where the, the Airedales are going to set up shop from. Oh, what a risky play, but yep. great job uh, by Jacob Fair catching it with somebody in his face. Two Razorbacks in his face, actually. Alma's going to take it at their 21-yard line. Let's keep it here as we uh, get set for offense for the Airedales. And a nice drive the last time they had it. They went 38 yards, not a long drive. They can ran some clock, ran some offense, uh, nothing fancy. And let's see if uh, 
that'll give us some momentum in this this next series. You know, these Airedales aren't intimidated. If you remember this time last year at Forest City with a lot of these guys on this on the field during week 11 and, and uh, had a, was behind, was up, and then hanging on for the win when Forest City announced that they would be hosting round two the next week. Yeah, I've seen that before. McAllister is going to be in the shotgun by himself, first and 10 for Alma at the 21. Here is going to be a stretch running play, and they stack that one up for about no gain. Very important to we'll take care of the ball right here. We're pinned back on the 20. We want to get them a quick turnover. You know, 14, or seven of their 14 points was off of a, a kicking game error where they, where they were able to get a turnover. So very important that we take care of the ball right here. Eight minutes and 35 seconds left in the first half. We are going to give them about a yard on that play, so we'll, we'll take that with you. Gain of one for McAllister. It's going to be second down and nine from the 22. Coach Smith's not going near as fast as he was earlier. He looks like he's snapping it at about 10 right now, working some clock. McAllister back to pass, fakes right, going down the middle. He's going deep. For, uh, he's got a man almost caught, but then dropped. The ball was nearly intercepted as well by the Razorbacks. That was uh, Ty Lee Green back there. He was trying to go for Jacob Corsi, and it's incomplete. Screen and go. They fake the screen to the boundary over here, and Jacob went up to a stock block and snuck up underneath and you know had him going down the sidelines. Eight minutes and 11 seconds left, and, uh, boy, this will be a big – third down conversion if you could keep this drive going the defense has played well the last two series you want to keep that momentum going McAllister has a man in motion back to pass plenty of time going down for the sideline complete and a first down and there it is Connor Stacy first down at the 32 can they make that look any easier no just a simple hitch play just a simple out out pattern and a first down for Alma a gain of 10 on that play. I don't understand. It looks like number four would be a great guy to have on your four by one. I don't understand why he's playing so far off of Connor. Nice throw and a nice catch. Connor Stacy with his second catch of the night, also for 10 yards, had a reception for the first quarter for 10 yards. Hunter McAllister is a quarterback. Corsi in motion. McAllister this time takes the snap. He's going to run. Has some room. 35, 36, knocked down about the 37 yard line. They won first down. Uh, we always talk to your offense about winning first down. You want to get four yards plus. And when you do that, that gives an offense coordinator an easy second down play call. We have the official uh, looking at something. I'm not sure what they're talking about or looking at. The ball is going to be uh, going to have some substitutions here for the Airedales. I think something might have happened to uh, McAllister is going to get looked at. Might have some blood. That's what it is. He's got oh. some blood on his arm. So he's out of the ball game. It wasn't, wasn't a penalty. Yeah, and so uh, Stacy is back in quarterback, and you're right. He's played a lot of quarterback this year. He can throw it or run it. Just now started the clock. Stacy on the Wildcat runs to the 40 and then runs into a giant brick wall in the form of Christian Torres. Boy, he's a, a big kid, 6'4", 241 pounds, and he had a stone wall that time. Somebody better take care of Miss Patty after this ball game. That's <laughs> all I've got. Do you see her running yeah, around down there? Yeah, yeah, she's been busy. She's got some band-aids. You know, uh, she has good trainers, and and that's where, she, that's where it starts. And uh, she's in good company, but uh, here comes McAllister. Not for this play. Airedales are going to call up. Going to be a penalty on the Razorbacks. I think they jumped. Hard count. Uh, again, I was about to say you got to be thinking two down two down territory here, even at the, at the 40 with this with seven minutes left. But, uh, again, a third and short play just like down here on in the, in the end zone when we got an automatic first down. So Coach Smith is working them, uh, trying, to, trying to do some things to help his offense out and keep them on the field. Alma with a first down from the 45. That's their own 45, seven minutes and 20. Two seconds left to play in the first quarter. Texarkana, or in the first half, Texarkana leads the ball game 14 to 7. And the Airedales are back in there. McAllister got taped up, and he's back in there at quarterback. Back to pass, looking, going deep. He's going for Stacy, and it is going to be caught. He made the catch. He made Said the reception, and now they're going to say out of bounds. Where's the official? There's nobody of, down he's there. He's down here standing on this line. He oh, didn't even mercy. move with him. Wow. And that guy over there is too deep. He can't make the play. That's a tough one. That was a heck of a throw by Hunter McAllister. Well, Hunter had to put it. He couldn't leave it inside with that with that corner, so he had to make it where he put it over his outside shoulder and give Connor a chance. And great job taking a shot on first down. Seven minutes and 15 seconds in what may be the longest first half of my lifetime. Uh, and it's only 14 to something. Not a lot of points, but this thing has taken forever. 
Airedales have it first down or second down in 10 from their 45 yard line. McAllister back in there. Going to send Brady Noise in motion. Now it's going to be a little toss to Noise. Cuts it upfield across midfield to the 48, 49 yard line. And it's going to bring up a very manageable third down. Great vision. By oh, Noise. a bad spot, too. Oh. He was easily about he, the 48, and they're going to call it the 49 yes. of Texas of Alma. Great vision by Noise. That's right where Noise put his foot in the ground, right where the ball spot is. He, he gained three more yards. Well, so only officially a gain of four yards on the play. So third down and six for Alma with uh, six and a half minutes left in the first half. The Airedales have all three timeouts. So let's see if they can run something on this play. Quarterback back to pass, has some heat, gets it across. It's complete. Has a receiver. That's Braden Allen. Inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Same play where they tried to hit Allen earlier. and the, Earlier they stayed in a two-safety look. This time they went to a one-high look and got Braden run down the seam. Allen with his first catch of the night, 17-yard completion, and Allen has a first and 10 at the Texarkana's 34. What a patient drive. They're, you know, they're, they're not worked up right now. They've calmed down and moving the football. Boy, and you go back to that first uh, quarter that passed it. Trey Fusler, you had a touchdown. Here's a run, a wildcat, just a straight, uh, what do you call that play on first down? <laughs> it looked like they were in the power read. There right you go. There. Uh, but the, I like the, we're just playing with such more of a sense of urgency. You watch the way that our guys are running around compared to the guys in red. And I'm telling you right now, the guys in green want it more right now. Seven yards on the run by McAllister. And in, with six minutes left in the first half, it is second down and short for Alma at the Arkansas High School Razorbacks of Texarkana 27-yard line. I'm just impressed how cool McAllister is. He's come out. He knows he's had two shots. He could have folded it up, and he's just going to work. McAllister back to pass, going to throw a little pass in the flat, complete to Allen. Has some room at the 20. Inside the 18, down to about the 17. First and 10, Alma. If you notice, Coach Smith's got the ball in his hash, and he's keeping it over here. He's trying to stay away from those officials up at the top of the field. Yes, sir. That's, that's a smart coach right there. Alma has the uh, football at the, well, they're going to say the 20, but there must be a penalty. I don't see a flag anywhere. I don't either. They, they called a penalty on the play, so they're going to back it up from the 20 to, I guess, the 30, 31. So it's going to be a second down remaining here for Alma. I never saw I never saw the, the penalty. Being board. on the other sideline, the official's not pointing toward us, so it's kind of hard to see what happened on that play. More stats, more yeah, stats. Yes, more stats. You're at the 31-yard line, five and a half minutes left in the first half, and McAllister sends Brady Noise in motion. Hunter McAllister is going to do a power keeper uh, only for about a yard to about the 30. Or actually, maybe no gain. They're not getting much of a spot. No. Rusty's a lot calmer than I would be right now, I think. You know, again, six foot seven <laughs> is six foot seven. <laughs> and you you just land a lot different than you do when you're five foot nine, five yes, foot ten. Do. So a long, uh, a long about third down and about seven for Alma. Big play on this drive at the Texarkana thirty one yard the thirty one of the Razorbacks. Alma on offense. McAllister is a man in motion. This time it's going to be Corsi back to pass. Going on a little out pattern. It's going to be caught. Should have him. It is complete. Got Connor Stacy. Has the catch at the 21-yard line. Just so smooth with that route. They, they just they just look like they're in unison on the all, the whole time on that. We have a penalty against Alma. Lineman downfield. Wow. Again, that penalty was called across the way. I never saw I never saw the flag. I just saw the, the official making making the motion. So uh, goodness gracious, the Airedales are backed up third down and long again. Never saw it. Uh-uh. You know, the linemen have a three-yard box that they can go down the field there, and I know that we didn't have anyone pass that box. That penalty or that flag came from the umpire. Alma's going to take a timeout with four minutes and 44 seconds left here in the first half. Let's take 30 seconds and come back, and we will pick it up from there. It is Texarkana 14, Alma 7, back after this. I'm fixing to look it up right now. Is the game not on YouTube? 
they said they had it fixed. You want 30 or a minute, Kevin? Uh, huh? You can go ahead and bring it back. Kevin Taylor and Doug Lockridge, the coach, back here in Texarkana. And, man, it's been a really kind of a frustrating drive in this. Uh, in the fact, they've had two consecutive plays where you convert a first down, but on each play there's a penalty. One step forward, two steps back. And, uh, you know, I couldn't see it on the field, but I just got a text from the great Swami, Tom McMurray, that said we had covered our tight end up. So uh, I okay. think that's what we had, had going on there. <laughs> I can't really see out of these windows. No, no. Uh, we're in the press box. When we got here about 5 o'clock, there were about 1,747 wasps. They had a fan on. There's wasp spray. If you need some, we have some here for you. And uh, hot spot fogger. Anyway, and the windows are completely fogged up, so uh, it's, it's really hard to see. 444 left here in the first half. Here come the Airedales on third down and 13. McAllister back to pass, takes a deep step, going down the middle, got a man out there, caught at the 10-5, touchdown Alma Connor Stacy. Check for the flags, check for the flags. I don't see any unless there's one up top. Kevin. Wow, beautiful throw and a beautiful catch from Connor Stacy, and the Airedales are an extra point away from tying this thing up. Coach Smith caught him in a cover zero blitz right there, and Connor just broke it off toward the middle of the field, and great throw and great catch coming down and, and for the big play. 37 yards on the touchdown catch and run. He caught it about the 10, looked up and saw nothing but green turf, and a touchdown for Connor Stacy, his third reception, uh, third receiving touchdown of the year. And we have a ball game in Texarkana. How about that? PAT from... Martin, kick down, is on the way, and the kick is good. Four minutes, 35 seconds left in the first half. New ball game, Alma 14, Texarkana 14. Back in 30 seconds. And Doug Lockridge back at Razorback Stadium in Texarkana, Arkansas, where the Alma Airedales have just driven 79 yards. And boy, you talk about staying patient. They had two consecutive first downs back to back, finally get a, a first down, and then a, on third and 13, you've got a long touchdown pass, 37 yards by Hunter McAllister. Wow, I mean, Hunter just stayed right in there, looked so nonchalant when he threw it, got the air under it and hooked up with Connor and just loves the way he comes off the field after he makes a big play like that. So Alma has tied this thing up at 14, <clears throat> and the Razorbacks, who had one short drive after a block punt, are going to start this drive in pretty good shape. Nope, they're going to call him down. They're going to say his knee touched. His knee touched. Yep. We have a ball game. Four minutes left. I'm not sure how we run the clock here, but you did that kickoff and that run. How many seconds went off? I don't Two. Yeah, I was going to say one, but you're going to be generous. Texarkana takes over on this series. They're going to mark them down at their 25-yard line. So here's a team that's undefeated. Again, they've only played five games, and we – have talked about this throughout the broadcast, the fact they just hadn't played a lot of football. And, you know, that that can uh, be a good thing. It can be a bad thing. But, you know, the good thing is I guess you stay healthy through the year. The bad thing is you don't get the reps that you need. You don't get to make the mistakes. And, you know, we're and able to grow as a football team. Just don't really have any continuity. Airedales are on defense, and here come the Razorbacks. It's been a while since they've been out there. Four minutes and 33 seconds left in the first half. They're going to have a man in motion. Here's a running play to Blair. He's got some room up the gut, and he is going to be uh, about a yard shy of a first down after a gain of nine. Good job keeping up in the middle, keeping the clock running. Uh, We're going to call that a gain of about eight for Mr. Blair. He's had a bunch of carries in this ball game. That's his uh, 13th carry in the first half, and with four minutes left to play, 14-14 game, the Razorbacks have it from their own 32-yard line. Lammers back under center. Man in motion. This is going to be a quarterback. Nope, going to hand it off again. This time Blair's got the first down and more. 
That time he got some running room. He crosses midfield, knocked down at the Elm of 49. Finally turned on the Jets there a little bit. They're not speeding up. You know, the good thing is we're keeping him in bounds. We're tackling him, making him snap it, making him snap it, and keep that clock running if they'll ever start it. That's Blair's uh, longest run of this ballgame, 19 yards, and a first down for Texarkana. <coughs> keep in mind, this is a big series because Alma gets the football to start the second half. Always a swing series when we get the ball out to halftime. First down run, here is Blair again, has some positive yards up the middle, nothing fancy, just kind of churning straight ahead, and he has stopped at about the 42 of the Airedales. Three runs in a row, Seth yep. Cole got him a couple gulps of water, now we're going to put him out, big big nose guard, 320 pounds. We're going to call this the 41, so that's a gain almost of uh, eight yards again, so they've had three consecutive runs, eight, 19, and eight for Texarkana on this drive. Ball. Football's Fumble. on the ground, Fumble. the quarterback's knee is down about the 45, and now you're looking at third down. And uh, well, the Airedales might have had it, but they're going to call him down initially. I think his knee touched. They're going to call it about the 49. Get him to third and long again, and a big play right here for us to try to get, get off the field and get our offense back. Again, clock is running. I'll tell you what, there's a... There's not a large, a giant contingent from Alma, but they're, they're loud. They're making some noise. Third down and seven for Texarkana. They have a couple of timeouts if they want to use one. They're going to keep, uh, keep the clock running. Two minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half. Quarterback is Lammers under center. He's going to throw it. Back to pass. Rushes on. Gets it away. It's going to be caught out there somehow. And let's see where they're going to spot him at. You've got to be generous on hope for Rusty thinks it's short, so he calls his yep. timeout to stop the clock. Great break on the ball by right there. Was that Polito or York? It was York. Yep. Uh, read it, T-step and dropped, drove, drove to the ball. And uh, sorry, it was Polito. Polito drove on it and stopped him short and made it fourth in about three. For uh, two minutes and 17 seconds left to play in the first half of play, a 14-14 ball game, Alma and Texarkana, as the Razorbacks have it look at about a fourth down and about four. On this drive, that was a gain of eight, but a heck of a play because they really did a good job of uh, of, of hanging on to the ball because he was hit almost immediately uh, when he let go of the football. What a play! And you know, uh, Coach Norton is not getting in a hurry on. The, I mean, he's not getting in a hurry to trying to score. Uh, he's not using any timeouts. They're staying, they're keeping the ball inbound. So, uh, I don't know about the clock management right there. Two minutes and 17 seconds left, and now Texarkana with a couple of timeouts left. Alma with one timeout left in this ball game. The Airedales have put up 14 points in the second quarter play. A touchdown run from Hunter McAllister of a yard and a 37 yard touchdown pass from McAllister to Connor Stacy. So now you look at the fourth down. What do you think they're gonna dial up here? Maybe uh, try to get Blair loose outside? I think so. I think they're gonna put it in his hands and make him, let him get it. Lammers is the quarterback in the shotgun formation. Oh, the Airedales jumped off. Oh, uh, think same thing we got them with will go. Hard count. Seth Cole might have been a little bit early trying to get a rush, and it's going to be a first and ten for the Razorbacks at the Elm of 38. That, go, that goes down to, you know, a little self-discipline right there. You're, 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 ti you're tired. It's a big play. We've got to watch the ball, get the snap count, and not give them any, any extra yardage. Again, clock uh, – Clock has stopped right at 217 right now. 37 yard line is the uh, spot. First down for Texarkana. Lammers back to pass, gets his pass away. It's caught, and the runner is still going for a first down down around the 22 yard line. The ball might have been tipped, it looked like, but it was dragged in there, and that was uh, on the catch. A very nice catch and run from Logan Williams. As long as we keep them. Inside the ticks right there and, and gang tackle and slow getting up on them. We can burn some clock and hopefully make them snap it a couple more times. 15 yards on the pass play. First and 10 for Texarkana from the Alma 22-yard line. And the quarterback this time going to be a running play. This is Blair. Has some momentum to about the 16 that time. And we had a late uh, block or something. And uh, the Airedale coaches are really upset about yeah. that play. Let's call that a gain of six on the play from Mr. Blair. 
It is going to be second down with a minute 34 to play in the first half. Here's Blair again. Has the first down at the 10. Dances outside the 5 toward the pylon. Touchdown, Texarkana. Just that quick. That's the thing about uh, Blair. Whenever he touches it, he can go the distance at any time, no matter if it's 88 or 8. 16 yards on the run from Tory Blair. And... The Razorbacks have gone back in front with a minute 25 left in the first half of play. They're going to come on for the extra point attempt. It's going to be kicked by Christian Stewart. He's a junior soccer player. Stewart's kick's on the way, and it is good. And with a minute 25 to play in the first half, it's Texarkana 21, Alma 14. We're back in 30 seconds. Airedales have a minute 25 to try and get something done before the, uh, the first half. And it is a 21-14 ball game. Texarkana is back on top. A really nice touchdown drive. This kick is going to be taken out of bounds and go out of bounds. So the Airedale back on the end zone? Bounced. Yes, it did. Right, right inside the tick there at the three. Okay. You mentioned soccer, Kevin. Texarkana has some good soccer teams. They do. There. You know, I, I rode the bus, enjoyed my ride up here with Corey Sturdivant. I learned all kind of stuff. Uh, <laughs> when, when you're sitting next to him, he's a, a man of a lot of information. And I learned that his dad, or uh, Coach Bush's dad, was a principal one time at Ozark, Ozark High no School. No way. <laughs> I mean, no way. Unbelievable. So did he show you any soccer clips on his phone? He did. Yeah, okay. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> So the Airedales are going to take over. I guess there was a flag on that. So uh, they're going to put this thing down at the 35. I thought it bounced into the end zone. I couldn't tell. And, again, our windows are fogged up. Uh, I guess they haven't had a home game here in about a month, and they've had a lot of cancellations because of COVID and whatnot. So it's going to be first down Alma, minute 25 left here in the first half. Let's see what the Airedales can do. McAllister under center, takes the snap, back to pass, has a lot of time. He's going deep down the middle, and he has got Connor Stacy going to be intercepted. Nope, incomplete. Ball was dropped. Again, we don't want to go too crazy right here and give them a ball again to go up another touchdown because we do get ball at half. So uh, we don't need to be too quick getting rid of it here, and we don't need to give them the ball back with a whole lot of time. One minute, 18 seconds left here in the first half of play. In a very entertaining first half. Alma down by a touchdown. They were down 14 nothing, pretty fast. And then they scored 14 unanswered, and then the Razorbacks came back with a touchdown. McAllister under center will take this one and throw it across the middle, and he's got a man. That's Allen. He's on the move inside the 35-yard line for an Alma first down. Allen looked up and was surprised that that ball was there, and Hunter just drilled it right to his numbers. That's one of those plays. the big game. That, he probably doesn't make that catch in week one, but you've had so many reps by this point of the year, he makes that play. Yes. That's a heck of a catch and a run. They've got an injured player. Texer Canada does. We'll keep it here. A minute 10 left to play in the first half. It is 21 to 14. Down by seven points. I'd be really impressed the way uh, Hunter McAllister has run the offense after – Kind of a, some timid or some some hot throws to start the game. Kevin, he's just he's just growing and getting better every week. We're at week eleven, and he's just now starting to get kind of his comfort zone. What what everybody doesn't understand with this COVID deal, you know, we missed March through July of getting our players ready and develop them. All the throws that he's making right now, he would have done in June and July. No no summer camps, no team camps, uh, just nothing. So a uh, nice 30, uh, that's thirty one yards on the pass play. That's uh, Allen's longest reception of the year in a nice first half for Hunter McAllister and the Airedales with a minute 10 uh, are at the 34 
of the Razorbacks. Now let's see if the clock is going to run a little faster now since we're on the road. <laughs> uh, it's already ticking. Yeah. <laughs> we have a minute left here in the first half already. Allen's going to come in motion to the left. Now he's going to set up one back in the backfield. McAllister is going to run out of time, and they're going to call a timeout. Yeah, we didn't – I don't know that we got in the right formation, and then when we did, they were trying to set in motion and uh, had to burn one, which is okay. 54.7 seconds left here in the first half. That is Alma's last time out. So if you do get the ball close to the field goal range, you'll have to make sure you get it down there where you can uh, get an incomplete spike the ball and get your field goal team on. Yeah, we don't have to We don't have to go for the end zone here. Again, with three points will be good. We just got to get Dane down in the middle and get him close enough where he can hit it probably to about the, the 20 uh, where he can get a hold up and get one and get some points, and then we'll get the ball at half. Alma's going to have the football to start the uh, the second half, and uh, if they can get something here in the last minute of this first half, uh, that'd be huge going into the uh, locker room. I'd, I'd say Coach Bush got to be really pleased with the way his team has played. Oh, gosh. Uh, just to come out here and, and Texarkana and be where we're at right now, he is, he's very pleased. I know he's a stag, him and his staff, and, and it's going to be a great wild second half. Ball at the 34 of Texarkana. 54 seconds left here in the first half. We have a back in the backfield with Hunter McAllister. Here's a man in motion. That's Allen. Looks like they're going to run the same play, and this is going to be a little fake screen pass, and he's going to go deep down the middle looking for the end zone. The ball is going to be intercepted. It's going to be intercepted out there by Logan Williams. With 47 seconds left to play. Well, he went to the well that time once too often. Yeah, he left it to, you know, he made that same pass earlier where he threw it uh, to the outside where it was either going to be we were going to catch it or it was going to be out of bounds. That one he left it a little to the inside and that, that corner was able to make a play on it. Uh, it was there for a second and he was just able to. Now, we do have 47 seconds here. They got the ball in the 20, so we cannot give up a big play. And like you said, they do have a kicker, so uh, we don't need to allow them to go down there and get a field goal. It is. Uh, it's uh, 80 yards, but they got a lot of skill and a lot of speed. Let's see what they decide to do with 47 seconds left to play in the first half. They've got a couple timeouts. They could burn. Man in motion. Quarterback's going to keep it simple and go with a running play. That's Blair, and he's got some chunk yardage up the middle across the 30. That's a first down. And the clock is going to run with under 38 seconds before they call a timeout. Little scrum there toward the end. It looked like that they are uh, they're getting a little more sense of urgency now with their play calling. So that's going to be a run of about, uh, I'm not sure why the clock stopped because there was no timeout call. And now the clock's running again. That's going to be a run of about 12 yards for Mr. Blair. Stopped it for the first down, I think, and then they, like you said, I thought they'd call timeout. Lammers back to pass. It's picked off by the Airedales. Elmo's got it out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Joseph York stepped right inside the receiver, just turned around, and Joseph already broke on it. Uh, so we've got the ball with 21 seconds left, Kevin, right here at about the 30, 36. What a play. Heck of a play by Joseph York, the senior, and the Airedales get it back. And they're almost where they were a moment ago. Alma Matter of fact, they're a yard better than a moment ago. Alma travel tonight, Kevin. Our, st our fans are on their feet. These are the people that come in week in, week out, and they're making way more noise than the Texarkana fans. First and 10, Alma at the 33-yard line, 21.5 seconds left to the first half. And let's see if uh, Coach Smith can dial something up here. We're almost 8.15. This first half still is not, still going. <laughs> Elmo's going to split some receivers outside. And Texarkana is going to cut it. They didn't like that. They're going to call a timeout. So Elmo's shifting to their trick play tackle. Elves were right there. Uh, and uh, when they shifted and moved, moved the tackle out with some skill guys, but left the tackle eligible on the backside. So uh, the coaches in the box saw that and called a timeout. 21.5 seconds left in the first half. It's 21, Texarkana, and 14 for the Elmo Airedales. Quarterback Hunter McAllister has had himself a heck of a first half, a touchdown pass, a touchdown throw. Each quarterback for each team has been picked off once. And Rusty Bush talking to this uh, side judge, he's, uh, his ear is going to be, has been gnawed off here in this first half. Well, his ear and everything else, because our fans have been right there on there on this, you know, the, the, the fence is about 10 yards probably from where he is, and he was getting chewed on, I tell you. This is an old-school stadium. 
Uh, been here for a while. They got turf. They got turf in 05. And uh, it's an old school stadium. It's been here for a while. And you're, the fans are right on top of the action. The track is not very far from the, uh, from the bleachers. Not some, at all. Some great football players that came from here. Dennis Johnson. Yep. Mike Cherry. Can you name any more? Had some good baseball players <laughs> come from here as well. Going to be first down for Alma at the 33-yard line with 21.5 seconds left in the first half. McAllister rolls to his right, throwing deep down the middle, out of bounds, incomplete. Still, you know, he left it where only the receiver could get it or he could uh, get it out of bounds. You know, not going to leave it inside for, for the uh, uh, corner. But now we got to start thinking field goal, I think, Kevin, and try to get down to where we can at least got a shot at it. He had a slot receiver that was uh, on one side, Briley White. He's not caught a pass tonight, but uh, – Riley White was down there as well. He was going for Connor Stacy. Second down and 10 for Alma at the 33-yard line. 16.1 seconds left to play in the first half. Hunter McAllister will be under center. He will take the snap, and here we go on second down and 10. The rush is on, gets his pass across the middle. It's caught. The Airedales have a first down at the 10-yard line. Nine seconds left. Got to hurry. Got to hurry. They're not letting him They're not letting him stop the stop. clock. They've got to stop the clock to move the chain. They've got to stop the clock. They will stop They've the clock. They've got to get them set. Wow, 4.9 seconds left, and the chain still aren't set. <laughs> and so the We're Airedales moving too fast. are going to bring on Dane Martin's going to attempt a field goal. Well, like you said, Kevin, it's been about a month, so they may be out of shape with their with their clock finger the and, their, and the had chain a, gang. So. Had, a, had a tough night. <laughs> Setting it up for the field goal. Looks like they are at the, what, nine-yard line? Well, they're going to put it down about the uh, 18, so it'll be a 28-yard attempt, and they're going to call a timeout. So it'll be a 28-yard field goal when play resumes with 4.9 seconds in this long first half of play. And Connor Stacy has had himself a great football game in the first half. Four catches already for 72 yards. What a crazy half. Like you said, there's 4.9 seconds left, and it is 8.18. This has been the longest half I think I've ever <laughs> been in. I mean, in. to tell you, it's, uh, we're closing in on 8.30. And, you know, Texarkana had a chance there with, you know, with about 50 seconds left to try to try to hang one on us after the interception, and we ended up getting it and getting back to, and getting us into some more life. Airedales have it with 4.9 seconds, and Dane Martin's going to attempt a field goal. I don't believe he's kicked a field goal since the Poto game, and that was back in week two. Uh, Rogers Heritage, nope. the winner in He did overtime. kick a big one. He kicked one against Rogers Heritage. He sure did. Have. Been a he, while. He's on the hash that he likes. He's on the to left middle. This is going to be about a 27-yard attempt. Ball's long enough, kicks up. It is good. good. And that's it. The end of the first half has come to a close. The Airedales get some points, 17 second-quarter points, and her score at the half it's Texarkana 21, the Alma Airedale 17. We'll be back in two minutes.
Stacy, four catches for 72 yards and a touchdown of 37 yards. Razorbacks led the ball game at uh, 14 nothing, with about five minutes left in the first quarter. Alma came back with a, a drive after a fumble play. They went down and scored a 38-yard touchdown drive. McAllister, that cut it to 14-7. Alma got a three and out, and they went 79 yards and scored on their next drive. A very nice pass play, 37-yard touchdown pass from McAllister to Connor Stacy, And that made the ball game at 14-14. The Razorbacks have some very talented running backs and quarterbacks. They went down and scored on a nice drive capped by their uh, good back, Torrey Blair. He scored from 16 yards out to make it 21 to 14 in favor of Texarkana. Alma got the ball back after a late interception by Joseph York. They uh, threw a pass 24 yards to Connor Stacy. They got the ball set up. It's left. 27 yard field goal from Dane Martin, the senior, and that cut the score at halftime to 21 to 17. So the Airedales will get the football to start the second half. They should be in, uh, you know, they got to be feeling pretty good about themselves after that first half of play. And, uh, Coach, what do you talk about at halftime as far as making adjustments? Well, I think you got to talk about just, you know, <clears throat> turning the page, taking care of the football, and uh, just making sure we do what we do. Airedales will have it after the uh, first half of play. Right now we're going to take a break, send it back to Fort Smith. Our score at the half, again, it is... Texarkana 21, Alma 17. We'll be back after this.
and is led by Lieutenant Evie Martin and Callie Jo Brooks. This evening, the Red Line will start off by performing their competition kick routine to whip it. This routine won the Red Line multiple placements in dance competitions this fall. Officers, are you ready? They have run the football 23 times for 89 yards. 
they have passed the football effectively enough. They are five of 11 with one interception. And uh, they have total plays in the ball game, 34 for 158. On the other side, the Alma Airedales, who came in being the underdogs, they have 187 yards of total offense in the first half. Make that 197 on 32 snaps. They have 10 first downs. They have really thrown the ball well. Nine for 18 for uh, one interception is uh, the quarterback. 148 yards. Very nice job by Hunter McAllister, who threw a touchdown, ran for a touchdown, set up a field goal late in the half to cut this thing down to 21 to 17. The Airedales will get the ball back as we start the third quarter of play. Uh, just a great first half for uh, junior Connor Stacy. He's played some Wildcat. He's run well running the football, and he's done a good job uh, receiving the football. Hey, a nice first half for uh, senior Braden Allen. He's caught two passes for 48 yards in the first half. Had a 31-yard catch late in the first half to got the ball down close for the field goal. Uh, very consistent play all the way around by defense and offensive standout uh, Jacob Corsi. Played himself a good ball game. And uh, the Airedales haven't put the ball on the ground in no fumbles by the uh, the backs or quarterbacks. That's, uh, that's a big stat. The one turnover, the interception play, but they came back and got it back on the, uh, the fourth interception of the year by Joseph York that cut this thing down at halftime to 21 to 17. Coach, uh, I'm very impressed. I know you got to be impressed as well. I am. I'm just impressed with the way that we have, you know, these kids could have shut down a long time ago when they had their backs against the wall. And, and then when they say that they were coming to play the number three team in the state, Texarkana Razorbacks. But they came to work all week. Coach Bush had talked about all week how they had a great week of preparation and they were bouncing around and they were fresh and we got you know we got guys back and and feel healthy and, you know we're doing all this you know without our thousand yard rush just the momentum and what i love is the way you know he's a guy that you know if he could have quit it could have shut it down the first of the year yeah you know, he didn't start he had guys playing in front of him uh but he just kept getting better and better every week you know, showed out in some JV games, and when it was his time to go in, he made it happen, and he ain't looked back since. Boy, you know, something that's that's hard to coach, and uh, and uh, you're right, Connor uh, Connor Stacy State was a quarterback there for a while. Allen was a quarterback, sophomore in there some, and uh, you know, Hunter never he never walked away. He stayed the course. And there he is playing quarterback. No, you know he, uh, you know Hatcher came in and started yeah. a couple of games, and then and then and then whenever uh, McAllister got his chance, he's came in. And again, we've got two great quarterbacks. Hatcher's going to be a great one as well, and that's a great problem to have. I guarantee uh, because, you. Because you know there there's great competition there. Uh, but but Hunter could have shut it down. He didn't, and, and a lot of kids during this day and time would. Whenever whenever you don't, whenever you, they think that they should be out there playing and they're not, uh, a lot of them tend to just give up and they go to you know go to another sport or they just quit all together and start going home playing PlayStation. But he just he just stayed with it. Now there's a, that says a lot about his character. Halftime scores will run down the list here. The Fighting Billy Elmores drove all the way from West Memphis to South Sebastian County to play Greenwood. <laughs> it's 34-7. Bulldogs, hey, a great, a great first year for Chris Young. Hats off to him. He's a heck of a guy, heck of a coach, and uh, I think he's got Greenwood rolling again. They are. You know, Greenwood just kind of just plugs in the next group of guys and goes, and, and uh, he's, he did a great job. You know, he didn't go in and rock the boat and change a bunch of things. He kind of added his little tweaks here and there, Got by, hired him a, a new offensive coordinator from Chris Watson from Morrillton, and they just kind of stayed on course. Boy, they have. Let's run down some 7 eight scores. Harbor's on top of Northside. 28-7, it's North Little Rock 28, Southside nothing at the half. Uh, Fayetteville and Little Rock Central 14-14. Conway at the half on top of Springdale 52-7. to we, uh, we stopped in Conway on the way and said hello to uh, Keith Pimple, and uh, he was getting ready for the ball game. They're up big at halftime. Cabot leads Rogers. Rogers had a nice year, but they're down in halftime 41-7. And some other scores, Bryant is on top of Heritage 31 to seven. See if we can find some 6A or some 5A scores here. BB in Camden Fairview, third quarter already. It's Camden Fairview 49 to seven. Greenbrier is on top of Brooklyn 43 to seven at halftime. Where's Brooklyn on the schedule? <laughs> How about this one at halftime? The Clarksville Panthers lead Green County Tech 14 to seven. 
Wow. You know, I talked to uh, Coach Buckner at the conference meeting the other day and Coach Banning, and, and I told them that uh, – I thought, really thought that that would give those guys a uh, trouble the first round with just with what Clarksville does on offense. They can run some clock. Mom L leads Nettleton 13 to seven at the half. Magnolia is leading Jeff Williams and P. Rich 49 to nothing. Been a rough year for them. They've missed a lot of time because of COVID. Moralton is on top of Hope 41 to seven. In our score again, Texarkana 21, Alma 17. And one more score, Farmington leads Valley View 21 to seven at the half. I, I, told Adams the other day also I thought that was one he could go get and, you know at the play in games I thought we had you know three or four th- three at least three of our teams I thought had a chance to win the play in games and that's what I that's what I like about this is there are teams left out of the playoffs every year that could go in and win and go to the next round and, and I think that's what you're seeing. Bologna the other 5A West team they lead Watson Chapel they've had a shootout at halftime it's 32-21 Eagles on top of Watson Chapel at the half. Some other 5A scores, Arkadelphia, well, that's a 3A, that's 4A. Whitehall leads Hot Springs 35 to seven, and then we'll skip on down to 4A here. Arkadelphia is on top of Star City, 42 to six. Blyville on top of Clinton, 36-14. Hamburg leads Jonesboro Westside, 41 to 28 at the halftime. The Lions are having a big first half. Huntsville is leading Boxite, nine to seven in the first half of play. Rabbit leads Mills, 34-28. Uh, that moment when you realize Mills is 4A. Wow. Uh, 2013, we played Mills at home first round, and they were still a quality opponent, and we played them a couple years before that. We did. Pottsville leads uh, Fountain Lake 24-6 to at the half. Heber Springs is playing Truman. Truman's on top 20-6. to Forning leads Baptist Prep uh, 30-14. to Hackett. The Fighting Hackett, one of your boys you coached, uh, I believe Coach Metters. Did you not coach him? There's a couple of them over yeah. there, Coach Metters, uh, Coach Shelby, and Coach Pointer, and then uh, Stephen McMurray. That's right, all yeah. guys are the, part of that Hackett Hornet squad. Hackett leads Mountain View 22-12 to at the half. Carlisle is on top of Mineral Springs 44-22. Hampton leads Cross County at the half 12-7. to Dirks over Mountainburg 37 nothing. Foreman and Hector tied at 12. Junction City 30, Mark Tree nothing. Hazen and Magazine tied 22 all. McCrory leads Mountain Cove 49, 40, 6 to 6. Bearden leads Mount Ida 12 to 7. Poet on, poet on top of uh, the Indians, big over Cedar Ridge 42 zip. And Quipman is on top of Murph Freesboro 41 to 8. Our score at the half here in Texarkana the Texarkana Razorbacks 21, the Alma Airedale 17. We'll take a break, come back with our second half right after this two minute timeout. Score again. Texarkana leads at 21-17. Looking at some 
a couple of uh, first half stats, kind of interesting. Third down is always a big play. Almost three out of six. And Texter Cannon, three out of five. That's that's a, a three out of six. You'll take that all day long. Yeah, every all day. And you know we have they have converted on a couple of those. And they've also got some penalties that you know have, have extended drives early. But we've played a lot better in the second half, stopping those third downs. Airedales will get the football to start the uh, second half. Uh, you got to really uh, talk highly of offensive coordinator Chris Smith. I thought he called a heck of a first half. He he just seems real comfortable right now. He's he's got gotten a good flow there, uh, and, and of course having what McAllister's doing and Stacy's doing really gets you uh, gets you feeling comfortable. And uh, you know, barring some penalties and things like that here and there, but he he didn't freak out. He didn't he didn't short circuit. He stayed with his game plan, and he keeps that he keeps that place calling sheet right in front of his eyes and never gets off of it. Well, Alma, you you play with what you have. There's, you know, you don't have. Uh, this isn't uh, college. You can't go recruit. You, uh, you just play with the kids, the kids that you have. The senior class, when they were ninth graders, were three and seven, and so that that says a lot. You know, the fact that this team here we are battling in the first round of the playoffs, down one possession to a team with a lot of talent. It does. They they, they do beat us on a talent scale. Their quarterback's going to sign a, a D1. He, Baseball will go be drafted. They're, I talked to Coach Shockley from OBU earlier. Their center is already committed to OBU. As far as I know, we don't have any commitments on the Airedales, and uh, we're just we're out playing them. But they passed the eye test, and we're out playing them. And I think we've came with a little more want to tonight. Airedales are back on the field. Texarkana waiting to uh, run through the band here at halftime. Razorback Band is a big band. They did a nice job in the first half as we were running down some stats. Uh, and getting this thing set for the second half of play. It's about a four-hour drive. I, I, I'm going to guess the ride back to Alma is going to be a little bit quicker than it was coming. Uh, there won't be near as many stops. Nope. Uh, it's 8.42, and we've yet to kick off. And uh, what a long night down here in Texarkana. Oh, but mercy. I'm going to tell you, Kevin, I'm not going to take the four-hour drive. I'm going to go to Hot Springs <laughs> and stay the night, and I'm going to the state dance competition tomorrow and watch our state dance team. Hey, good luck to the dance team and uh, Coach Sarah as they get ready to uh, – to get her done tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow morning, actually. Matter of fact, the dancers had to leave today. They were going to leave like Saturday at like 3.45, <laughs> but they, they changed their plans, and they're, they're, they left today. They're going to go down and sleep pretty much, but yeah. Coach Sarah Murray's took over her first year as head coach, and, and uh, Emily Westra, and uh, the, just the, the staff that we have do, does, a, does a, a great, great job and, and, and just a, another perennial power in, in the dance world. You know, you talk about this game dragging on. Uh, Growing up in Texas, we played football games at 8 o'clock, and uh, a lot of, I lived across the street from my high school football stadium, and we kicked at 8 o'clock, and by 9.20, we were back home. We were, yeah. we were getting ready to go cruise it. I mean, no passing, a lot of running, just a different game uh, 40 years ago. But boy, now it's wide open. It is, and, and you know, it was just a... Uh, uh, just different, different style of football now, different way we, we play, and uh, just, just makes for a, a whole different Friday night. This might really shock you, but I was kind of a nerd back in high school. I might circle the Sonic wearing those old Dairy Queen plastic batting helmets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Well, we're back on the field. Alma's set. If we can get the band off the field. I covered a game one time in 86 where the uh, the sheriffs actually ran the band from the other team off off the field. That's a true story. They ran oh, the geez. band off the field. We're ready for the second half. They got it teed up, and with 12 minutes on the clock, it's anyone's ball game. We are glad you're with us here tonight. Kevin Taylor and Coach Doug Lockridge, it's 21-17. The Texarkana Razorbacks will be on defense to start the second half. Got to watch for an onside kick, too. They tried the onside kick in the first half. He's going to kick this one deep. This one's going to be Kevin Mills back at the four. Mills to the 10, trying to get outside the 15, 20, has the 24. He knocked out of bounds. That's actually Trey. Is that just that is went Trey. to the different side this time. I want to correct my mistake, Kevin. I did not mention Coach Ashlyn Hill while ago. Ashlyn's our new dance coach this year, and she's also with that squad going down to Hot Springs. The uh, – a lot of activities going on this week. The basketball team, Cody Mann and the Lady Airedales, they're going to play Atkins on uh, Tuesday night. Atkins couldn't find the game, had a game canceled because of COVID. They're going to, they picked up Alma and uh, happily. And then the Airedale, Lady Airedales play Springdale on Friday. Well, here we go. Starting the second half, we're going to see the second half adjustments, and that's what our coordinators did right here. 
Hunter McAllister back in the shotgun formation. Connor Stacy in motion. Here's a pitch to Stacy trying to get outside. Has the corner 25, and that's about that's about it. He might lose a yard. He could not get the corner outside. Setting up a little play action there. I think Coach Smith's trying to trying to go uh, work it horizontal and get them moving a little bit, trying to get them over pursuing for any type of cutback lanes. And call that a pass play, a completion of one yard. So Connor Stacy has his fifth catch here tonight. That one's good for a yard. And clock runs with 11:20 left here in the third quarter. 21-17, Texarkana on top. Second down and nine for the Airedales. Here's a pass play across the middle, and it's open and then knocked down. That could have easily been possibly a pass interference. It was not. Been, it looks like he grabbed him by the back of his helmet when he yeah. came across. You know, the scouting report on Texas Canada is this. In 2015, Coach Bolding told me, fastest team you've ever seen. Uh, Coach Bush, when he called some of the South coaches, he, they said the fastest team they've ever seen. So uh, that's what you know is how much speed is out there every time you play these guys. Third down and nine. Ricky Williams on the coverage that time as Allen was uh, knocked down trying to catch that little dump across the middle. Third and nine. McAllister fakes the handoff, goes a pass outside, and a little bit too quick that time. Stacy just couldn't make the break in time, and the Airedales go three and out. You know, we've been running that route. They, they, they're they walling Braden Allen coming off now. If you saw that linebacker collide with him and take him, disrupt his timing, but uh, we've been running that route with Stacy over here to our sideline. That's the first time we've thrown it up top to their sideline. Stacy he turned, made his cut, and by the time he made the cut, the ball was too low anyway. And it's going to be a third or fourth down and nine, and the Airedales will punt it away. So the Razorbacks, whatever they did at halftime to adjust, they get the ball back after three plays. Low snap, punt is on. It's going to be a little wobbler. It's going to bound out of bounds and take a Texarkana roll at the 47. Punting and kicking these guys are dangerous. And their return game is just done with the speed they have back there. And uh, that puts a real strain on our return team, so our kickers. And our punters have done a great job working the sideline. Texarkana will take over. They'll have the football at their 48-yard line where they'll mark it down. So a big series coming up here for Alma on defense. Well, you know, if anything tells, like the first half, it took us a couple series to get warmed up offensively, get our timing, then we're going. We just got to get a big stop on defense right here and get the ball back for us. Well, that first drive, uh, they kept converting third downs. I think they converted two of their three in that first series. First down from the 48. They send one man in motion. Here's a handoff. It's to their big back up the middle, and he's got some room and more, and he may go. He will. Tory Blair is going to go to the house. 52-yard touchdown run on the first snap of the third quarter for Texarkana. Same inside zone play. They locked up with their lineman, and he saw the crease, and this time he's – uh, cut it back and split right up the middle of the safeties and was able to take it to the house. Yep, Blair got a little little bit of space and he was gone. Ten minutes and 50 seconds left in the third quarter and Texarkana trying to extend this lead back to a 11 point margin. Right now it's 21-17. PAT is good and Texarkana 28. Alma, 17, with 10.50 left in the third quarter. Let's take a 30-second timeout back after this. Just didn't get a, a, a catch on. It could have been a first down. They punt it, and in one play, the dangerous Tory Blair, 52 yards untouched. And uh, well, they, I think they got a hand or two on him, but uh, <laughs> by the time by the time he got past the secondary, he was gone. You think Blair's on their track team? Yeah, I'm going to say he's probably a good 400 runner. <laughs> He may be a 200 or a 100 guy. Here is uh, Trey Fuseler on the return up to the 20, 25 yard line, 26. And that's where the Airedales are gonna start this series in the third quarter. It's 28-17, Texarkana, Alma battled back down 14-0. They came back and tied it. And let's see if they can get some momentum 
re, uh, restart the offense here. You know, no panic in the Airedales. A lot of confidence. They're going out on the field just like business as usual. Again, a lot of young faces out there. Lots of sophomores and lots of juniors on this offense and on this defense. A lot of good talent coming. That ninth grade team had a really good year. Some outstanding uh, seventh and eighth grade football players coming as well. So uh, the future's bright. Here's a running play, which they haven't done much of. Here's Brady Noyes with a nice run near a first down marker. What I love about Noyes is his vision. He, you know, he's a sophomore going against these guys that are 6'3", 280, and running 4'7", 4'6", 40s, and he does not care. He keeps two hands on that football, sticks his foot in the ground, and goes vertical. That's a first down carry of 10 yards, and the Airedales have a first down at the 36. And they're going to go hurry. They're going to hurry up. Uh, Alma going to go quickly to the line of scrimmage on this play. Allen's going to set up on the right side. McAllister takes the snap. We run a man in motion. It's going to be a straight handoff up the middle. That's Noise again of some big running room. That's about eight yards on that carry. Noise ripping off eight to ten yards of pop on his runs. You know, why go away from it if you're getting eight, ten yards? I mean, that's that's an easy play call for Coach Smith. Offensive line are just going, just doing work right now. Brady Noise back-to-back -back carries for 18 yards, ten yards, and then uh, eight yards. He had, in the first half, four carries for seven yards. So already in the third quarter, he's out, uh, outdone what he did in the first half. You know, I think Texarkana's light in the box a little bit because of Stacy, and I think it's give us some run lanes. Yep. Second down and two for the Airedales from their 44-yard line. Here's another running play. This time, Noyes is stacked up near the line of scrimmage. Nowhere to go. He's going to be wrapped up down there by number 35, Patrick Hall, a junior defensive tackle. And it's going to be third and two. Third and two, two down territory here. Don't be surprised to see it take a shot because, uh, again, he's going to, have to go for a fourth, fourth down. Two down territory? I think so. Well, you're in the playoffs. Nothing, nothing. There, there is no tomorrow if you don't get this one. Here's a running play of Wildcat. We got Connor Stacy in at quarterback, has the first down into up to the 48 yard line. First and 10 air downs. I saw a little face mask up here all the way through the bug spray and the, the, <laughs> the window. And I guess that guy right there on he the didn't 50 see didn't it. see it. But uh, you see Connor straightening his helmet when he got up, but keep going to the back to the huddle and keep going to work. Three yards on the run, well, four yards on the run for Connor Stacy at the 48 yard line. And that's back to back three consecutive first downs on this drive for the Airedales. 8.55 to play in the third quarter. Man in motion, Stacy. here is a running play. And that's some room out there. That's the sophomore, Birchfield. Birchfield, first down carry inside the 40 of Texarkana down to the 39. Two-headed monster right now of sophomores with Noise and Birchfield. I tell you, Birchfield runs as tough as anybody. He gets behind his shoulder pads and uh, you know, you got to like a kid that plays with snakes on the weekends. Yeah. You, you like, he, he is fearless. He is. 13 yards on the first run of the night from Reagan Birchfield, the young sophomore. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, you got to like the fact that a lot of kids coming back, a lot of offensive players in 2021. Eight minutes, 30 seconds left. It's 28-17 here in the third quarter. Texarkana with the lead. Here's a running play to Birchfield again. Has some room at the 30 near another first down. Ripping off eight and nine yards, and you've got Braden Allen. Look a little, right? Look like a little uh, after the whistle activity by Texarkana. There, take kid takes his helmet off and starts walking to our huddle right after 6'6, 260. Nathan Whalen had the guy pinned on the ground. Number five didn't like getting rubbed in the dirt right there. Well, he's gonna have to come out of the ball game. He took his own helmet, it didn't, it didn't get off during the play. He his took players, it off. his own players are getting on to him, they're trying to get him off the field, and uh. No penalty on that, or is there a penalty? There is a penalty. I can't see from the fogged up windows. It's a penalty when you take your helmet off. I don't know if they called it. Well, I guess they didn't. It, the ball, they were all the way back at the 42, and then they moved back to the 30. So it's a gain of nine, second down and one for Alma, 7.42 to play here in the third quarter. Here is a quarterback back to pass. Hunter McAllister going deep for Stacy. He's got him. He caught it and dropped it. Oh, mercy. Had it. Turned around, off his fingertips, incomplete. He had it. He cradled it. He got behind both safeties and was took one step into the end zone and just, just went through his, through, through his hands. Boy, I like that call. You've been running it, running it, running it, <laughs> setting up the pass play. And he was out there. He was open. Took a shot. They were, they were really flying up, real aggressive. Uh, and Coach Smith took, took time, took a shot right there. Third down and one. Stacy's in for the Wildcats, so they're going to do a little running play perhaps here on this play. It's going to be a run play. Nope, going to be a straight up the middle. 
from Connor Stacy has the first down inside the 25 down to the 23 of Texarkana. Great fake to Corsi. Corsi did a great job carrying out his fake on that, and they bit with it, and uh, Connor just took it and stuck it right up the middle. 7.27 to play here in this third quarter as the Airedales have methodically, on their second series of this quarter, have uh, moved the football down to the Texarkana 23. Again, the offensive coach has been really patient right now, moving the chains, working the clock. We're already almost, again, almost halfway through the quarter. Seven yards on the last play, and here's another handoff and a run. This time it's Brady Noyes to the 20, so no short gain that time of about three yards, but again, you're still making positive gains. Yeah, Noyes and Birchfield, again, is just is just giving them positive yardage, and then when you throw Stacy in there uh, and give a little scat back to it, I mean, it's just – gives you a three-headed monster with those guys running it. Six and a half minutes left here in this third quarter. The Airedales trailed 14-0 after one, but if you went away and came back, that's a different ball game. Texarkana on top 28-17, to and Alma's driving for more at the Razorback 20. Hunter McAllister is in at quarterback. He takes the snap, hands it off, and this time they wrap him up. They saw that play one too many times, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, and Texarkana's getting, having trouble getting lined up. Those guys weren't set, and they just come flat off the edge, and I don't know that our guys saw them, and I think they actually may have ran into one of their guys. They got one of their players down. They do. They got a player shaking up. Let's take a quick 30-second timeout with you. 6.15 to play in the third quarter. The Razorbacks 28, the Airedales 17. We are back after this. So Alma's looking at a big play, third down and 10. It's two down territory, no doubt, on this offensive series. McAllister is going to move Allen to the left side. The lone back is going to be Birchfield. They're going to call, are they? Nope, they're going to let the clock run down. Under about eight seconds left on the play clock. And now they're going to have to call a timeout. It looked like they were going to check with me and, and they didn't get the call. And I don't, you know, uh, again, third and, third and 10 here. Um, they're going to have to make a decision, you know, what they're going to do on fourth down. If he's going to try to get half of it here or try to take a shot. I don't know if he if he got under center and just didn't like it. I don't know what happened on that, but uh, they didn't like it. He kind of let the play clock run down, and then uh, the coach walked out to the, uh, the side judge over here and called the timeout. Five minutes and 50 seconds left here in the third quarter. It's Texarkana 28, Alma 17. The Razorbacks led 21-17 at the half, and the really good, talented running back, Torrey Blair, he got loose, uh, busted one from 52 yards out on their first and only play of this quarter for a touchdown. That's their only scoring this half, and Texarkana back up by 11 points. Well, uh, our offense is giving some fits right now. Coach Smith's doing a great job lining up, shifting, trading, motioning, putting guys in different spots, and they're having to align. Their defense is having to align every snap. Texarkana back on defense. Coach Barry Norton's crew. Trying to win a home playoff game. He's had a nice run. He came in 28 and 12 since taken over in 2017 as the head football coach here. Nobody in the backfield, so it's going to be a straight blitz and down the middle pass and nearly intercepted. And I'm not sure where there's no uh, pass interference play because the Alma receiver got flattened. Our receiver was on the ground wow. with the ball in the air. And we, the we official were on the was other turned end around. of that call earlier. Yeah. Twice. Well, McAllister's lucky two things. Lucky it wasn't sacked and lucky it wasn't intercepted. So the Airedales have a fourth and ten from their 24-yard line. Same as earlier, Texas County was bringing the blitz right there. It was in man coverage, and that guy had his hands on him. And uh, Like I said, he had a Corsi on the ground with the ball in the air. 
So McAllister has had four consecutive incomplete passes after a good first half. Here's a fourth down play going down the middle for Bradley White, and the play is incomplete. So it's going to go over on downs. Texarkana is going to take over with 542 left here in the third quarter. Had some nice runs, had some good, had some good uh, play calls. I like the way that drive was going. And then uh, they just, uh, they, the Texarkana made a nice play on second down and then two incomplete passes. Well, they both the last two plays, they, they were going to bring some pressure and uh, lock us down in man, and they did. And uh, we didn't get off of it quick enough to, to be able to make a play. First and 10 for the Razorbacks. They're going to mark it officially from their 23-yard line, 542 to play third quarter. Here is going to be a simple running play up the middle, and again, a nice uh, push forward from Torrey Blair. He uh, runs for about seven yards to the 29. 11 guys around the ball whenever we're making the play. That's what you got to like to see right here in the third quarter, uh, running the football with a sense of urgency. Let's call that a gain of six on the play, so officially a run for six for Blair. And uh, he's over close to 100 yards. He has a couple carries shy of reaching the century mark. Clock is their friend right now, and they're not getting in a hurry. They're, they're content with handing it off. Here's another running play. Nope, quarterback's going to roll out and throw it, and it's going to be caught out there. It's going to be a first down and more, breaking away, and then fumbling, and who's got the football? The Airedales have it. Looks like Airedales ball. Wow. Green ball. What a play and what a hustle. It looked for a moment like they may break that away. That was green on the reception. Alma takes over from their own 46-yard line. Was that Birchfield or Fusler? I can't see. Birchfield, the yep. sophomore linebacker. Reagan Birchfield got the fumble recovery, and with four and a half, we're all just under five minutes left here in this third quarter. Alma's got it back. Again, making them snap it waiting for the offense to screw up, you know, on their drive and just out hustled them right there. They had a completion and had the first down, and our defense is running the football and stripped the ball and got it. Uh, big play right there. Let's see if they take a shot after a turnover. Alma's plus two in the turnover situation here tonight. That's three turnovers for Texarkana. Alma takes over from their 46. Here's a little razzle-dazzle, and flags are down. I think we might have had an illegal formation. Yep, they're going to back them up five yards to the 41. They were going to try a little trickery there. Yeah. <laughs> they're, going to, they're going to take a shot after a turnover. And that's, yeah. you know. But we're okay. They're calmed down. Connor Stace looked, was, looked like he had lined up a quarterback right there. Four minutes and 52 seconds left to play in the first half. And Texarkana back on defense. The Razorbacks in their home jerseys. The Airedales in their road whites. Here's their running play up the middle. It's going to be Brady Noyes for not much. He might have gotten back to the 41 for no gain. Defense is tightening up the box a little bit now, and they're coming down a little more in some man coverage to, to get more guys up there since we started ripping off those 10-yard runs. And uh, we're probably going to have to go to the air a little bit more. That might open up the uh, might open up some lanes outside again. Only one reception here in this third quarter for the Airedales. Connor Stacy had a catch, a little pitch play for just a yard. So. Not quite the uh, the chunk yardage through the air they had in the first half. Good chess match going on right now between the coordinators, just going back and forth with each other. Under five minutes left here in this third period of play. Shotgun formation for Hunter McAllister. Back to pass, rushes on, going deep. Got a man down, there's going to be intercepted. It's going to be picked off by the Razorbacks at the 32, back to the 36-yard line. That's Ricky Williams. He had his helmet taken off earlier. He was the one who got uh, flustered in that previous series, and he picks off the pass. And Texarkana regains possession at their 36, at the Alma 36, at their 36. Well, we get the penalty on first down, which backs us up. And you never like to start out behind the sticks on mm -hmm. first down. And uh, we they they stacked the box and took away our running on the next time we we ran it. So uh, going to the air that time that looks like they had it double covered. Three minutes and 59 seconds left to play in our third quarter of play. It's Texarkana 28, Alma 17. Here's a handoff running play to Torrey Blair. Blair runs forward for some big yards up near the 43. Keep making them snap it. We know they'll turn it over. 
uh, we know that they'll get upset with themselves and maybe get a penalty here or there and back them up. So we just got to keep making them snap the football. Seven yards on the run from Blair. He's had a nice ball game. A couple of touchdown runs, and in fact, his uh, late touchdown run in the first half snapped a 14 14 tie. Here's a ball on the ground. Ball That's got to be a ball down. Yeah. He, he was down. down. They, they weren't too quick to blow the whistle. They They'll not. get your quarterback hurt. Yeah, I mean to tell you. He was about to get plowed over. 3.20 to play here in this third quarter, and the Razorbacks are back to their own 39. So this is going to be a big play for Alma on third down. Again, how important third down has been uh, on trying to not get to let them convert. Third down in about eight for Texarkana. They are back at their 39. They need to get to about the 47. Quarterback straight drop back to pass, looking downfield, got him in out there, knocked away. Nice defensive play by the little Trey Fusler. Number 17, a senior. How about that play? Trey Fusler, you think that they would, after last week, that they would uh, know where to locate that guy. He's 5'5", 120 pounds, and you can't see him out there. He just pops up, and you'll never know it. So he's, what a big play on third down. He's matched up against Tavery Green, who stands 6'3". I mean, come on. Shouldn't match up on paper, should it, Kevin? <laughs> it should not. But you know what? That's why you play the game, right? Here's a high snap on the punt. Hunter gets it away and kind of goes off the side of his foot. This thing's going to take a bounce for Alma and then knocked down by Texarkana at the 32. That's just a 21-yard punt. Wow. So the Airedales get a break there, and they'll take over in pretty good shape after a short punt from their 34-yard line. Back to Trey. You know, you can measure 6'3", you can measure 220, but you can't measure heart and guts. And that's you know, what that guy has. And he has played all the way through the program since the seventh grade, and we always told him if he would – if he would stick it out, he would play as a senior, and he has. You know, I, I coached him in T-ball, and I coached him getting at nine years old. And last week I talked to him after three picks. He said about as many words last week <laughs> as he said it when he played T-ball and at nine years old. He doesn't say a lot, but he's a heck of a player. Airedales are back on the attack, first and 10 Alma from their 34-yard line. Here's another running play. Brady Noyes gets a little crease out there, and he's going to be close to a first down run. Well, there's the flag. Oh, there's the we flag. had the sidearm flag throw that time. Wow. I don't know that that official ever moved. And chance to back us up again on first. That was two drives in a row Man. that we've had penalties on first down, and where we've had to start out first and 15. I don't know Coach Coach Bush is getting frustrated, and he's trying to stay calm. And but you know. Spot foul from the 36, so it's going to back it up to the 26-yard line. So the Airedales looking at first down, and they're going to call this 20, just a straight first and 20. 2.27 to play, and the penalties really kind of adding up now. Not any good play calls on that play sheet for first and 20. It puts you in a bind and allows the defense to line up and maybe tee off on you right here. Hunter McAllister takes the snap, going to throw a pass out quickly, and it's caught. Here's some yards, 35, near the 40, going to be knocked out of bounds. I can't see who caught it. Is the ball he on the ground? He was down. Oh, they're, they're going to say they're going to give it to him. He was down, boys. Yeah, that's a tough, tough play. And Coach Bush is yelling that to him. It's right in front of the Texarkana sideline, and that's across the field from where we're standing here in the press box. So the Razorbacks have it after the turnover and the pass play at the Alma 39. Rusty Bush got his hands up in the air. That's a tough play. That's uh, that that's a call again that happens on the other sideline. And that's why that's why our coordinators try to keep the ball over here to our side. Just to keep away from that. But you can't do that all night. And no. you have to trust it up there, but first down sure didn't go our way on that one. First down and 10 for the Razorbacks from the Alma 39, 2.05 to play, third quarter. And here is the quarterback back to pass. He's going to take a shot. He's got a man out there, and the ball is going to be dropped at the four-yard line, right through the old breadbasket. You know, playing a team like this, the number three team in the state, uh, you know, we have to get some breaks like that. And, and you know, the penalties just kind of – kind of cost us, and then we, these, these officials have to be sharp on every play. They're a playoff crew, and they're expected to be on their best game, just like these coaches and these players. Incomplete pass from Lammers. 
Bishop, the starting quarterback, hurt his hand after a quarterback sneak touchdown early, early in the first quarter. And it's been uh, Lammers the, the whole way since. Here's a little delayed running play to uh, Blair. He's got a first down and more. He's close to the Alma 25-yard line. Great hit there at the end. I don't know who got in and got him, but he, he went to the air and somebody uh, got underneath his Tory Blair his picks up, right there. rips off 13 yards. He's had a heck of a second half. In the second half alone, he's carried four times for 78 yards. Of course, 52 of that came on the touchdown run. Defense is keeping plugging, not giving up the big play. We've only given up one big play right. uh, this whole game. First and 10 for Texarkana from the Alma 26. Here's a little misdirection fake handoff. Pass play to the end zone, and the ball's going to be intercepted. Picked off. How about that? Is that the Polito. York? I think it may be Polito. I can't see. Alma with their fourth interception of the night. And the Airedales are going to take over from their 20-yard line. That is Polito. Johnny Polito, senior corner. That's another kid. Stay in the program. Stay in the program. Work. You're going to play as a senior. What a great play, and what a great play on that ball with, with, by Johnny. Squeezed it right to the end zone, went up, ball was over, underthrown, and he was able to go up and make a play. What a ball game we have in Texarkana, Kevin. I like the fact that uh, the defense has really played its heart out here tonight. A minute 29 to play in the first half. I don't know that the clock ran a minute ago from that. This has been the strangest clock. Again, no Stan Flinter on the road. Shotgun formation by himself is McAllister. He goes back to pass, going to throw a little dump pass outside to Allen. Allen to the 23, maybe the 24, and uh, kind of some extracurricular activities, but uh, no flag. Well, we didn't get a penalty on first down, and Coach Smith ran to our sideline. So. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, uh, not even a good spot. I thought he was closer to uh, the 25. They're going to put it back at the 23, so again, three yards on the pass play to Allen. I think he stepped out right before he turned up. That's what it looked like, what his official saying to Coach Bush anyway. Allen's caught three passes here tonight, 52 yards. That's his first catch here in the second half. Here's a misdirection running play, and that play was uh, just uh, stacked up from the word go. Brought him to the third and long, lost a yardage on that one. Brady Noy is going to lose a yard. We're under about a minute left here in this third quarter. And uh, it's almost past my curfew. Well, <laughs> I know Coach Smith's feeling handcuffed right now because he, he's feeling like he has to be right-handed because he, if he runs it up top, he's going to hold his breath to see if we get a penalty. Right. So he's having to keep the ball over here on his hash. And, uh, you know, they're getting a little more aggressive on the defense side of the ball and kind of teeing off on us right now. 22-yard line with under 40 seconds to play third quarter. McAllister takes the snap, going to throw a pass down in the middle. It's caught by Braden Allen. First down, 40. 42, hang on to the ball, Braden. And the Airedales have a first down with under 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. You know, I loved our sense of urgency right there. If you watch that, Kevin, they, there was a completion on that play and Braden's taken off and when the, the ball carriers tackled, there are six Razorbacks still back there where the ball was snapped, not even running to the football. 19 yards on the pass play to Braden Allen and the Airedales have it first and 10 from their 41. 20 seconds left here in this third quarter. This should be the last play maybe at the third quarter, and we're going to have movement. Another first down penalty. Yeah, couldn't hold her water. Looked like uh, one of the linemen jumped off sides. You hate to really get onto those kids. Ethan Thrift, he might have gone a little bit early. And that'll back it up to the 36-yard line. Tw 15 seconds to play in the third quarter. It's 28 for the Razorbacks, 17 for the Airedales. Now the clock's going to run, and that should do it for this quarter, I would imagine. Well, he had no choice in running right there, so he, he took us to the quarter. So <laughs> at 9-14, we'll be starting the fourth quarter. Mercy. <laughs> after three, it's Texarkana, 28, Alma, 17. We're back after this.
finally, after three quarters of play, uh, it is 28-17. The Razorbacks lead the ball game. Very entertaining game. A lot of turnovers, some big plays on both sides, and Alma's still in this thing. Oh, they are. And, you know, you just want to be in a position in the fourth quarter to have a chance to win the ball game. That's where we're at right now. First and 15 after the penalty on uh, the last play of the third quarter, and McAllister will take the snap. Man in motion. He is going up. That's going to be uh, Connor Stacy in the Wildcat. Has a first down and more. He almost broke that baby. Knocked down by Ricky Williams, last man to get him at the Razorback 44-yard line. The last safety. And Kevin, uh, Connor looks like he could be on the Texarkana 4 by one team right there. Yeah. And they're going quick. Nice run for Connor Stacy and a big run. First down from the 44. He's still in it, quarterback. He's going to hand it off. And then slipping and turning the corner after a gain of about four is going to be Jacob Corsi. Texarkana's having trouble finding the football. There's so much motion right now. And then when you put a running threat with like Connor back there in this, it gives that someone's going to stay home and play quarterback. Stacy, 22 yards on that play. He's still in there. Going to run this thing down. Here's a snap. Going to run it again. And this time he's going to spin down to about the 37, maybe 38. That'll bring up a third down. Still manageable here for the Airedales. Under about 11 minutes left, 28-17 Texarkana. Two-play territory here. You know, you think of Connor as a finesse guy, but he's not. He's, he is uh, sticking his foot in, his, uh, in the ground and going right toward those linebackers. Connor Stacy is still under center. And with 10.53, he'll snap it on third down and about four. Stacy going to run the, the Wildcat. Slips the tackle as a first down at the 20, or make that the 32 of Texarkana. Such a great job by our young offensive line, getting bodies on bodies, and, and just all you see is uh, Texarkana defensive linemen getting up off the ground. We're putting them on the ground and running over them. Got a really good block out there to kind of give him some space from Nathan Smith, another kid I've watched grow up. Saw him play a lot of Little League baseball back We're in the day. We're starting three juniors, one sophomore, and one senior and out on the offensive line. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Ten minutes left here in the ball game. First down for Alma. And back in the game at quarterback and handing it off is going to be Birchfield running. And, man, he is running hard. McAllister back in and Birchfield runs down to the 26. You know, we said all week the test was going to be Texarkana in the fourth quarter. Only playing five games and seeing how the conditioning level held up. Seven yards on the run from Reagan Birchfield. Here's a run again, and Birchfield trying to get outside, and he just barely, barely did, but they're going to say he's going to be out of bounds shy of the first down by about maybe a yard and a half, maybe two. A lot of emotion right now on that sideline between the coaching staff and between the players. They're fighting for each other right now. They're going to put it down at the 24, so it's going to be third down and one after a gain of what, two on the play from Birchfield. This is going to be a straight quarterback sneak and a run and a first down and more for big Hunter McAllister, six foot seven, and he gets the first down inside the 20. They had another player lose their helmet. Coach Smith's not budging, is he? No. You know, and, and the, the thing about this Alma offense, it's so diverse, and they've run so many different plays. And, you know, they've had the, the Wildcat formations, a number of those. You've had the, the quarterback by himself and the shotgun. You've had the running back back there. It's kind of hard to prepare for that. McAllister on first down, and here is a whistle and a flag or a timeout. Flag from up top. Offsides. So it's going to give Alma five yards and first down and five. The football now is going to be inside the 15-yard line. 28-17, to 17, Texarkana leads, but the Airedales have marched it inside the 15 down to about the 13. And in motion here is McAllister going to keep it again to the 10. Cuts it up to the 9 out of bounds. Just Close to another first down. Got a line. Is that one of ours? Nope, that's one of theirs. It's a Razorback. Uh, Turns into just a quarterback sweep with McAllister. He does a good job faking the motion going across, and then uh, McAllister just tucks it and just tries to get to the edge. And, and again, a six-seven frame, when he gets strided out and gets going downhill, he's, he's going to fall forward. They have an injured player on the field. Let's take a timeout with you. Let's break it for 30 seconds. 
9.31 left to play. It's Texarkana 28, Alma 17. Back after this. X28, the Airedale 17, but hey, the Airedales have it at the 10-yard line with second down in a yard, and uh, they get a chance here to cut this thing down even even tighter. Very important right here that we come off the football and take care of the football and are able to you know finish this drive going into the end zone. Very uh, very diverse offense tonight. I love the, uh, the the way they run it. Now we get back to the. Uh, the quick play, the Wildcat run, Connor Stacy, first down and more at the five. Touchdown, Connor Stacy from the 10 on the quarterback keeper, the Wildcat. And the Airedales have cut this thing down to 28 to 23. No flags. Uh, got in our jumbo heavy practice package there with Connor at quarterback. And again, he stuck his foot in the ground and went and hit his head on the goal post. First thing that stopped him was, was when he got to the back of the end zone. Great run, great play call. Nine minutes and 25 seconds left here in the ball game, and Stacy with a 10-yard touchdown run, and the Airedales are going to kick this thing and try to make this a four-point game. Thought for a minute they might go for two, but they're going to try to make it, just keep it at one possession. Good snap, hold, kick down the way, and the kick is good. So, nine minutes and 25 seconds left to play from Texarkana. The Razorbacks 28, the Airedales 24. We're back after this. Thanks. Weird story about Connor. You know, growing up, he was always a different team because he was a better athlete. That's what's happened. I think we need to do that. We can't finish. Let's do it. Hey, Connor, you want to play a To Texarkana, it is. 28 to 24, the Razorbacks have a four point advantage. That's where we were at the half. It was 21 17, and each team has had a touchdown here in the second half. The Airedales have put up three touchdowns and a field goal tonight, and they trail this explosive Texarkana football team 28 24 with under nine and a half minutes left here to play. What a great game. And this is why I think these play in games are so important. You would have never known what what teams would have been able to, you know, Clarksville just won. Uh, Farmington was up. You'd have never known what teams we could have in the playoffs. We had everyone been given an opportunity. Here's the kick. It's dropped and fumbled, and they're trying to cover it up. But watch out. That's always a dangerous play after a fumble, but good pursuit by the Airedales. And they're going to stack them up back inside the 20, inside the 15-yard line. We have a ball game. Momentum's on our side. Nine minutes left. We just pinned them inside the 10. We just got to keep making them snap the ball and not give up the big play. Airedale fans are on their feet. We've got probably close to 150 people here. And there's sound like there's 800 here that are that loud. First and 10 from the 13-yard line. Texarkana will have it. And they have turned it over four times, and I want to say the Airedales have turned uh, three of those into points. <laughs> they have. So that's big. You got the first touchdown, the field goal, and then that touchdown right there. So that's 17 points off turnovers. Here's a handoff running play to Mr. Blair, and Mr. Blair is going to run hard up near the 16, possibly the 17-yard line. Again, lots of green jerseys on every tackle. That's the thing we're doing, or we're plugging. And every time... Uh, that running back has to get up off the ground. There's about eight guys laying on top of him, so they're starting to wear down a little bit. Blair's going to pick up four on the carry, and they're going to have it at the 17-yard line. 
Eight minutes and 50 seconds left to play, 28-24. It's Texarkana on top. Here's a handoff to Blair again. Blair trying to cut outside. Nice play by Nathan Whalen. He wraps him up after a gain of maybe one to bring up third down. Hit him in the backfield, waited for his buddies to get there to get on the tackle, and then drove him backwards. They're, we are wearing them out up front right now, Kevin. Nathan Whalen is another kid, doesn't talk a lot. Very quiet, getting it done. Third and long. We've had them here before, 820 on the clock. I'm going to call that a loss of one on that play. Nice play from uh, Nathan Whalen. Big Nate, as they call him. Eight minutes left to play exactly. It's 28 to 24 in favor of the Razorbacks. Look at our offense. They're all on their feet down there. They're ready to go. They're looking at the video, getting ready to get the ball back. They're ready to go. Big play for the defense, and there's a whistle, and a, they're going to call timeout. Timeout, Texas. Call Texarkana. timeout, but looked like they dropped the flag, did they? <laughs> they picked it up. I saw the white hat with the with the timeout. Let's keep it here. 720 or 757 left to play in the game. And the Airedales find themselves down 28-24. I tell you, the last three weeks, and again, you go back to COVID, no spring practice. And I know everybody didn't have it. Same thing across the board. No team camp. But you got a first year coach. Well, the last three weeks, they have really played some good football. First year coach and two first year coordinators. Yeah. Don't forget about that. Yeah. You know, there was there was a, a shift change right there. And you know, Coach Smith was on the staff last year, but he was a, an offensive line coach for Coach Kendrick. Uh, so so total new total new game plan. These seniors have had three different offensive coordinators in three different years. Ball's at the sixteen yard line on third down and seven for the Texarkana Razorbacks. Seven minutes and fifty seven seconds left to play in this ball game. Lammer's going to take a shotgun snap, get this pass across the middle. It's going to be caught out there. First down, that's the first catch of the night by that wide receiver. And you know who caught that ball? That was caught by number two. Uh, number two, Bishop. Birchfield came off the edge to give a little pressure. There's the same play they ran earlier, Kevin, on that first third and long when they ran the verticals out and ran a dig across the middle just right behind the sticks, and they were it was there to complete. First down for Texarkana at the 35-yard line, so a big gain on that play. Moving the ball all the way, 19-yard pass play to the 35, and here's a running play to Blair, and Blair is stacked up outside, cuts the corner, has a little bit of room, but not much. He's knocked out of bounds after a short game. Great job by Johnny using the sideline as a defender there, just try, hanging on and trying to get him out of bounds. That was a smart play. It's going to be a gain of about a half a yard. Leland Barkley calls that a gain of one officially. So uh, that <laughs> also stops the clock. Don't don't get stats with uh, Leland on his stats. At 7.30 left to play. That's a big play because he went out of bounds on his own to stop the clock. Yes, it was. So, uh, we just got to come up and get a stop. We got to not give up the big play and make him snap the ball and, and hope for something to happen right here. Second down and nine from the 36-yard line. Shotgun formation, hands off here as a running play to Blair. Blair to the 40, runs for about four to bring up third down and five. If you're Coach Norton, you know, why would you go away from him right now? He, he Unless he just gets tired of uh, calling the same play over and over. Looks like, but again, we got him to third down. And so we got a chance to stop him here and get the ball back. And I don't, you know, I don't know with them with a the lead if they are in two down territory right here uh, or if they'll try to give us the ball back. Airedales trail by four, third down play for Texarkana. Pass play coming up, pass going to go out of bounds. It's going to be caught out there. Pass is complete, and it's going to be good enough for a first down at the 46 on the reception is Jamarius Johnson. And Johnson's got another first down on third down. Connor Stacy's covering him right now. He's back in the game at corner, so York may still be hobbled up a little bit. That's a hard play to cover. The kid's six foot tall and and uh, just made a nice little pass, little out pass play in the first down. Connor's got a, ran a lot of miles tonight between what he's done at quarterback and receiver, and now he's playing corner. 6.35 to play. It's 28-24, Texarkana. They've got it at their 46-yard line. Airedale's trying to get the football back, and there's some movement and some encroachment. I think the Airedales may have jumped. Nate thinks he did, but number 41 thinks he moved too. So, oh, yeah, they're going to mark it off over here. So. First down and five. Now the ball is inside the Alma territory at the 49. Six minutes and 25 seconds. Right now the scoreboard is in favor of Texarkana, but you know from this point on, you got to be really, really happy with the way the Airedales have played football tonight. 
First down play, and the starting quarterback is now back in the game. That's Bishop. He's been out most of the game. He's lined up at receiver. Here's uh, Lammers, hands it off to Bishop. He's got some room. A first down run inside the Alma 40. I don't understand their game plan right now, Kevin. I don't know. That's a gain right there of 13 yards for uh, Torrey Blair. He's had a heck of a ball game. And first down for the Razorbacks from the 46. Or I'm sorry, the Alma 37. Readjust my stats to a 12-yard run instead of 13. Takes our can, slowing it down now. Yep. Snapping it inside the five on the play clock. Man in motion, here comes Blair. Blair makes a cut. Is going to be stacked up about the 33-yard line. We're still gang tackling and trying to strip the ball and get it on the ground. Yep. This is going to be a run to the Alma 33, so a gain of four on the play. I tell you, they, they've had some guys on defense who've had some, they've cramped up and they've had some guys knocked out. They've gotten tired, but this kid hadn't gotten tired. No. Uh, again, they're showing he, he's, he's been a workhorse the whole game and has been strong with his legs. Quarterback fakes the handoff, going to take a shot down the middle. Here's the pass play. Going to be intercepted by the Airedales. Intercepted by Alma. That's Joseph York inside the five-yard line. How about that? I think it's Johnny Polito. Is it 15? It, it is 15. Johnny, Johnny Polito. Polito. Johnny made a great, great coverage on, on, that, on that receiver. They tried to run the post, and Johnny snuck up right up underneath him in a position to pick it off. So we're getting the ball with 454 left on the clock, pinned inside the five, so we got to be careful. Man, this is, this is just this is, this is kind of the way you draw it up. Again, all you want is a chance in the fourth quarter, and it, we, we, that's what we have right now. The Airedales had no interceptions. Last week they had three. Tonight they have three. That's two interceptions tonight for Johnny Polito, and the Airedales take over, this time from their five-yard line. Here's going to be a running play. Not much there. Stacked up near the four-yard line is going to be uh, Brady Noise. So the Airedales looking at second down and long. Again, the clock is our enemy right now because, you know, it is ticking. We've got 90 in, 96 yards to go, uh, and a field goal does is no good, so we're going to have to get it in the end zone. They're going to change quarterbacks. They're going to bring in the Wildcat formation. I think that's Connor Stacy in the ball game. Going to put a man in motion, and here is Stacy trying to get a beat, mm. and he does not get far. He might have picked up a yard, if that. Looks like he got stuck right there, a guy coming off the edge. He tried to get down, but the guy – Kind of looks like he got his helmet underneath his yep. chin. Looks like we're going to a timeout. Timeout, Airedales. Four minutes and 11 seconds left. Looking at third and long. Back from Texarkana right after this. You came here in 2015 and you guys won 28-23. <laughs> they said they were fast in 2015, and you know what? They're fast in 2020. It looks just like deja vu with what's going on out there, and it's almost the same type of ball game. And, uh, you know, just our guys are gutting it out every, every snap, every play. We're out athleted on the, on the field, but we're not – they don't have more heart than these Airedales. Hunter McAllister is back in at quarterback. He'll be in the end zone from the shotgun formation when the play resumes. Third down and 11. To say this is a giant play is an understatement. <laughs> Third down and 11. McAllister back to pass. He's looking down the middle. He's going. Going for Stacy, and he's going to be incomplete. He and had a complete. step on him. There was a yep. window in between, right between those three guys, but he was going nowhere else but to Stacy, you could tell. Four minutes and six seconds left to play. You got no choice but to punt here. Still you know, got time. You still got some timeouts. You know, Kevin, our, every year our conference prepares us for the playoffs and the, the teams that we play in non-conference, you know, we, we may take it on the chin early and the things that we do, but if you see what our conference did tonight with these ball games, yeah. uh, that's why we can come down here and play games like this against 
one and two seeds. Hey, congrats to uh, Chris Buckner in Clarksville getting a playoff win tonight. Here's the punt. And ball. It's gonna be we got it. Ball's on the ground. Green ball. Who's got it? Just give us a signal. Oh, they're going to give it to Texarkana. Texarkana held on to it. Looked like it was a muff punt. And was, they will take over at their 39. It at was the four, Alma 39. Four on one right there. And I thought we, we had, we jumped in there on it. Wow. Last time I checked, Farmington, also 5A West Bow, they were ahead. Really the only, kind of the only bummer tonight would be uh, the fighting uh, P Ridge uh, uh, Black Cats. Blackhawks. Blackhawks. Dirty Birds. Taking, uh, Dirty Birds taking it on the chin. <laughs> they were down big at Magnolia. The fighting Jeff Williams. Is, yeah. They, they had a pretty good haul. You know, drive from, Mag for, you think we had a good long trip. Drive from P Ridge to Magnolia. No thanks. <laughs> They had a long bus trip down to Magnolia. So the Razorbacks take over at their 38 with exactly four minutes left to play. Here's a, run, a running play. This is going to be uh, Tory Blair on the carry for about a yard. We're going to be trying to strip. It's still time for a turnover. We do have one timeout left. And looks like we're calling it. So yep. we'll be out of timeouts. Um, we'll have them at second and long. Blair on that carry. He has carried it quite a bit tonight. Picked up one, uh, maybe, you know, give him two yards on that last carry. He's had 11 carries here in the second half of play, and he carried it a lot back in the first half as well. Proud of these Airedales, proud of these coaches. Ball game's still not over, but I'm just tickled to death the way we have come down here on and to, to get on that bus. and. And that's what I told my wife, Kim, on the way down is, can you imagine, you got you got to make this ride, and then you got to get out there and play a four-quarter football game. Yeah. Stopped, had a walk through at uh, Washita Baptist. And uh, that, was, you know, that was my first time in that stadium. Very nice uh, really neat facility. Stadium. Yeah. Cliff Harris Stadium. Cliff Harris Stadium. First time to, to stop through there. And the, the folks at OBU were just, they were awesome. They came out and welcomed the Airedales There's off. The buses. Little pipeline of Alma to, to OBU. Yeah. Coach Vines played there. Uh, Braden Johnson, Dakota Shelton, Zach Henson. Lots of lots of Airedales been at OBU. Frankie Vines played for the great Buddy Bob Benson. Legendary Arkansas College coach. Here is a second down play. It's going to be Blair again. Blair wrapped is going to be wrapped up. Not much. Maybe a yard if that. Clark's going to run. Third and long. They've been taking shots all night, but I got to believe right here they're going to try to just keep this thing on the ground. Alma's out of timeouts. Three minutes and 30 seconds left to play. Third down and seven coming up for Texarkana. That is the 28th carry tonight for Tory Blair. He's going to be tired tomorrow morning. Yeah, uh, yeah he's, he's got his five weeks work tonight. I don't know what he's got planned for Saturday, but nothing early. Third down and seven for Texarkana. They're up 28 to 24. Here's a running play to Blair. He's going to be stacked up for about a yard. Fourth down. Coach Presley brought pressure right there yep. and got him behind the line of scrimmage. Again, this young defense has stepped up against the Razorbacks. So it's going to be fourth down and about six after a gain of one. On that series, Blair had runs for two, one, and one. They're going to let the clock run. We're under two minutes and 40 seconds. So they're going to just, I guess they're going to just see, probably take a timeout. They're going to run it down, take a timeout. They're going to run it down to about, get my math skills going here. About 220. 220. And yep. then they'll take a timeout, and then we're going to have a chance to get the stop. Everybody's been super, super nice here in Texarkana, and uh, we rolled in about uh, – about 4.45 and uh, set up shop. Well, wow, that thing's still running. You know, big trip to Moralton next week. If within these next 2.14 we pull this off, get a chance for a 5A for West matchup with uh, Cody McNabb and the Devil Dogs. Since they Moralton, took care of Hope tonight, the yep, winner of Moral this game will go to Moralton. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, uh, Texture Canada will go to Moralton if they win, and we would go to Moralton we win this next two minutes. They'll force them to punt. 214 left to play in the ball game. They're going to punt it. Low snap. Gets his punt away, and it's going to be uh, bounded and knocked down by the Razorbacks. That hit a Razorback player, it looked like, about the uh, 14 or 15-yard line. Still a better possession than what we had on our last possession. Oh, absolutely. We were pinned inside the 
205, two minute drill. They practice this every week. So this is nothing new to them. This is what you put your players in position to do and you train them in practice. So this is the thing that Coach Smith's gonna talk to them about when we do this every week. There's no reason to freak out. We're gonna work the change chains and we got two minutes and five seconds, no timeouts, we gotta go score. Now I'm at the 15 yard line, so you lost a minute 55 when you punted the ball, but you held them. You forced the punt, you're out of timeouts, and let's see if you can get uh, 85 yards in two minutes and five seconds. Hunter McAllister in at quarterback. Connor Stacy comes in motion. McAllister going to get a short pass outside to McAllister. He's going deep down the field, and it's going to be intercepted. Had a chance, had a step yep. on him. Going to try to take a shot. Yep. And it came up just a little short. Well, you tried a little trickery there. You know, hindsight's 20-20, but when I saw him catch that ball did he not have a lot of green grass or green yeah turf? i did, did and i but i saw him start i thought well we're just going to try to work it here and yeah work the sideline and he looked like he started uh slowing up a little bit and was going to try to throw it and, you know he had a, he, he had a chance to run it there and decided to i guess he, he thought he had a step on him so he could get rid of it so texer cannon takes over from the alma 48 yard line with a minute 57 left to play well, I've seen a lot of football in 40 years. Stranger things have happened. Let's see if I can get one more strange thing to happen. Well, they're lined up. Victory in, formation. In victory. They've got yeah. the back deep just in case something happens where the ball puts it put on the ground. Classy, classy game right now between two great programs, between Alma, very tradition-rich five-way program, yep. and Texarkana, who we said has been – a 7A power, I guess a 5A power back in the old days. and Well, and, they were and, a big-time power back in and, the, uh, when they first, the AAA realigned everybody back in 1969, and they were they were the dog. They were one yep. of the big teams in the early 70s. Hot Springs was good back then. They're one of the largest 5A schools. I think we're about number seven. And, uh, you know, they're a state champion track team every year. They've, uh, again, the athletic ability is none short in uh, Texarkana. Well, I don't see Joe Pasarczyk anywhere, and it looks like they're just going to take a knee and try to run this clock out with a minute 17 left to play, and that's what's going to happen. Takes the snap and going to take another knee, and with a minute left here in the ball game, the Razorbacks are going to pack up and head for Moralton next week, looks like. They are, and I think Moralton will be eager to get these guys on the road. You know, uh, you know, this is just a tribute to 2020. What you know, The 2020 seniors, you, no one's ever going to forget these guys what they had to go through to get to a chance to even play football this year. We got to pick a player of the game and I got about 15 <laughs> candidates. But you know what? I think it's going to come down to number three. I'm, you're going to pick number three. I'm going to go with, with the offensive lineman. There you go. The, all five of How many yards did we have tonight? A lot of offense, <laughs> yeah. If that does not happen and we had one sophomore having to fill in for, for uh, R.J. Billingsley, who yep. found out Monday he would start. Uh, those five guys up front really battle tonight. That's going to be the ball game. Texarkana is going to win it 28 to 24, and the Razorbacks stay undefeated at 6 and 0, and they will advance to uh, round two of the 5A state playoffs next week. And they hit the road for Moralton. We're going to take a 60 second timeout. We're going to come back and rehash this baby really fast and get out of here. Final score tonight: Texarkana 28. Alma 24, we're back after this.